so I'm really actually liking this campground. It's only seven fifty a night, and two dollar coin for some good showers. They're actually quite good. The weird thing is, right next to a cemetery. Which, to be honest, last night when I was just starting to get to sleep, I was thinking about ghosts, but it was fine. I slept well. <laughs> And I haven't actually paid yet. I'm staying two nights and when I pulled in there was no one at this little office and they provided an envelope um, to fill in. I'm going to go up the road and, and get the exact change and then go for an explore. There's a nice sounding walk nearby. I was hoping to see the big slip that's closed this main highway through the gorge but that's that walking track's closed and then I'd, I wanted to do a, a loop, the loop track which was I think it was just two hours return I'm wondering if this is, <laughs> this is the way but there is kind of a bit of a walking track there there's kind of no sign so I'm gonna see where this leads if it looks promising, maybe this is the official loop track now. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it looks promising. It looks like a proper track. I have... I've taken off the front plastic area when I first arrived at this campground. And I was hoping that today was going to be a sunny dry day. So today I'm going to paint over the wet section at the very front of the caravan. I'm planning to use this and bit of the sealant and just have a ridge along the end. I think I've run out of sealant halfway through that so I think I've got some glue somewhere so I might just use glue for the rest of it. That's somewhere in here. I think it'll be just as good. And now I'm just uh, drilling a couple of holes in. The idea with this is that the water will hit this little ridge and then go down the holes. I've arrived at the next campground, it's in Fielding and this place had a really bad reputation but a year ago um, it got new owners and slowly changing its reputation. Apparently they had a lot of kind of dodgy permanents living here and the trees were just really overgrown and darkened everywhere but they've been cutting down a lot of them. Even though, to be honest, it still feels like a lot of trees, it's quite pretty really. And yeah, they said they've they've kind of gotten rid of the the dodgier permanents, and so far so good. I've ended up um, it's a long weekend, and the manager owned me warned me that they were having a bit of a barbecue tonight. So I've ended up coming to the tent area, and I've just kind of parked as far away from everyone else as possible, right by the trees. It's actually it's actually quite pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty here. And kind of some funky old school caravans next to me. Empty, but um, just adds to the character a little bit. Oh, I quite I, first impressions. I like this place. The 
the stuff to clean the caravan. You're supposed to just spray on a leaf and it, it just cleans it with time. And I've just noticed that all the brown gunk that's on the roof is, is starting to leak down the back. <laughs> so yeah, the caravans looked better. <laughs> So I was just driving a couple of hours down the road today and you know most campgrounds like you to arrive 2 p.m. or later so I thought I'd come to this freedom camping spot and check it out have lunch enjoy the view and I was curious as well this one also has the four narrow car parks it's the only area you can stay in for one night but you'd be so close to your neighbor I don't these ones are not really designed for caravans. Yeah, they're kind of more for vans or motorhomes, really. But it's a nice spot for lunch. And I'm back at that campground in Paraparam where you get your own ensuite. <laughs> it's pretty special, pretty special. But this time I'm kind of in more of a public spot, less privacy. But the one advantage is I get a lot more sun in the evenings. I've booked my ferry to the South Island in a couple of days. So today's kind of just doing the chores, getting ready to head over because the first four nights in the South Island, I'm planning to stay at campgrounds that really don't have any facilities. So I'm going to do the laundry. I've just done a gas bottle swap. I filled up the car with petrol. Um, what else do I have to do? Oh, I want to clean the caravan, the exterior of the caravan a bit because it's really, it's grotty. Like, you know, I sprayed that stuff on the roof and then as you saw it all kind of drizzled down the back and the lichen's still on the roof. So I almost feel like it needs a second go. And since there's a tap right next to the caravan, I thought I'd be cheeky. I don't have a ladder, so I'm going to just have to aim it and hope for the best. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And I also bought a couple of caravan accessories well, like this. This is just a little hinge for the front uh, section of the caravan. I managed to lean on the front area and broke my other one. So we'll see how easy it is to swap that. And I bought at the same time. I thought, you know, I'm paying for shipping anyway. It's kind of uh, just a bit of fake wood to tidy up a couple of sections in the caravan. I don't actually know what this type of attachment is. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into this more. And now I'm going to do a sneaky spray on the roof again. See if it works better the second time. And I might, I might use a bit on the back as well because this is a bit gross. <laughs> I've been waiting to get to a level site to actually add this to the front of the caravan. One of my viewers introduced himself at the Hamilton show and yeah, gave this to me, which was really nice. He'd seen that I was kind of had one just inside the caravan and involved kind of going in and out, but he swore by this. It just sits on the hitch at the front of the caravan and you know straight away if you level. So this site is nearly level. I think it's probably going to be the levelest I'll come across for quite a while since I'm heading to the South Island tomorrow. Thank you Alan, Manuel, Pauline, Luther, David, Laurie, William, Bryce Caravans, Kevin, Mike and all my other patrons. Thank you guys.